Nick, with just Ben being probable and most likely playing here tonight against the Utah Jazz, just with his addition, just how does he impact the game and what does he just bring to the group? I mean, he definitely helps us. It's you know good to see him back with the group. Um, of course, he brings just extremely high basketball IQ, being able to defend multiple positions on the defensive side of the ball, rebounding. Um, so, you know, we definitely have to have him back. I know he's been around the team in these last couple of weeks and was on the Paris trip and the West, or the Western, the West Coast trip as well. What have you just seen from him in this time being back around the team and just being back out on the court with you guys? He's been diligent. He's been locked in on his rehab, of course. You know, nobody wants to go through what he's going through, um, you know, with his back injury and everything. But, you know, he's happy to be back. And I'm just happy to see everything will look when I'm back with the group. As one of the best switchable big men yourself, what kind of an advantage does that give to you guys to have a guy his size who can switch on multiple positions, especially since you guys seem to have started to switch a little more like this month? I think it just adds more versatility to the group in general. Just like you said, having another guy who's who's used to switching and somebody I'm used to you know, playing with. And I feel like we did some really good things on the defensive side of the ball last year. So just being able to continue to add to that is going to be good. Speaking of the defense, it's top five in January. Uh, do you think that's just the change, really, to less drop, more switching? Or is there anything else that's going on there? Um, I would say that the, the switching probably has something to do with it. But we've also been we've been in drop a little bit, too. And we just all been just more co connected in general on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, top five that in January, that's big. We got to keep it up and keep building off of that. I think that's that's where we should have been towards the beginning of the year, but now that it's finally everything's starting to come together on the defensive side of the ball. And then just this time of year can get you know kind of the dog days, longest part of the schedule before the All-Star break. Are you trying to use the Ben Simmons you know return tonight as just a little bit of extra juice considering the time of year? Yeah, that will be good, having, having his energy, you know, some fresh legs out there. And then, I mean, we're, we're pretty desperate right now. We need wins. We can't. We don't have time to kind of be on cruise control right now. You know, we've been taking a lot of losses, so we need to definitely come out locked in. You know, Utah, they're going to be ready to go. How has he sounded on the court as far as just, you know, being vocal? Has he just been kind of like back in the saddle, talking to you guys and just being that presence vocally a little bit? Yeah, even when, even on the bench, um, I could just tell, you know, he was kind of mentally putting himself back out there on the court, just, you know, um, telling me what he sees out there. You know, like I said, his basketball IQ is extremely high, so it's going to be great to have him back. When you look at just this Utah Jazz team, you guys lost all of them in December. What stands out about that game that's going to be important for tonight? I mean, Utah, they, they've kind of figured it out here recently. They play extremely hard. They, I think they've scored over 120 points in the last five or six games. So offensively, they've been playing really well. They, they use a lot of different lineups. And defensively, they, they use a lot of different defenses, kind of junking the game up. So we just need to come out, um, like continue the defense and, and create good shots and be the best version of ourselves. We'll be good. Talk it. Just in that, since we didn't get to talk to you after the last game, you've had two pretty entertaining matchups with Alper and Chengun. What have you seen just from him as he's really had kind of an all-star case this year in his third year? Yeah, like you said, I think he's playing at an all-star level, especially, you know, the game we played back in Houston. Um, he really he really had his way. Um, but, you know, he's young, he's extremely talented, and definitely a, a tough cover, and I think that, um, he has a really, really high ceiling. I know you mentioned about how this team is desperate for a win and you get Ben back and now Dorian's out for tonight. Just how are you guys just balancing of when one player comes in and another player is out, just especially with where we are in the season right right now? Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You saw Dorian, he went out with an ankle injury. Um, that's just a part of the NBA. That's a part of everybody's challenge around the league. Just, you know, whoever whoever's available to play, we gotta we gotta go with those guys. You know, we're all professionals and we gotta um, just get wins that way. Mm -hmm.